Ever heard the one about the first fatal railway accident? No? Well, it's a real hoot. Picture this. June 17, 1831. The air is thick with steam and the scent of burning coal. The best friend of Charleston, America's first passenger locomotive, is chugging along when suddenly, boom! The boiler explodes, and the first fatal railway accident in North American history is born. Or so the story goes. But here's the twist. It wasn't a freak engineering failure or a villainous saboteur that caused this explosive event. Oh no! The real culprit was none other than the locomotive's fireman, who had tied down the steam pressure release valve to stop the whistle's noise. Now I'm no expert, but that's like trying to silence a kettle by plugging its spout. It's bound to end in a steamy disaster. So, what did the West Point Foundry, the creators of this ill-fated locomotive, do in response? Did they engineer a safer boiler? Improve their safety protocols? No. They simply built another locomotive, the West Point, with a similar design. And the solution to the explosion problem? A barrier car loaded with cotton bales. That's right, folks. Their grand safety plan was essentially a giant flammable airbag. But here's where the story takes another turn. It turns out this barrier car concept wasn't even the foundry's idea. It was actually adopted by the South Carolina Canal and Railroad Company after the accident and it was applied to all their locomotives, not just the West Point. So, the foundry's big idea was in fact not their idea at all. So, there you have it. The tale of America's first fatal railway accident. A story of steam, silence, and cotton bales. A tale where protection came in the form of fluffy plant fibers and where safety measures were, let's just say, less than effective. Remember folks, next time you're on a train, keep an ear out for that whistle. It's there for a reason, and it sure as heck isn't to provide a soundtrack for your journey. Until next time, keep your valves untied and your cotton bales at the ready.